welcome to TMX Adventures. My name is Lisa Keegan and this week is Butterfly Week because I want you to get confident and skilled with this butterfly so it doesn't fly off in your Thermomix. So today we're going to take a classic Thermomix demo menu item and I'm going to show you how to do it in your Thermomix at home to wow yourself or your friends and your family. So this is the classic Fruity Dream. However, it's a TM6 version. If you've got a TM5 or 31, I'm going to teach you how to do it as well. So don't, don't look away because of that. Now let's get started on it. These three ingredients, and I do have some tips for those of you who can't do certain parts of this in, these recipe ingredients as well. First things first is raw sugar, 80 grams. Now I'd love to know in the comments, have you had a demo where you've seen this in real life? And I'm talking about the TM6 version, not the TM5 or TM31 version. So we have had those over the years as well. Okay, but this one's different. We cook off this egg white, which means that if you can't do raw egg because you might be pregnant or maybe you just don't actually like it. Maybe you don't like that idea of eating raw egg, then this is a recipe for you. So let's put the lid on the right way. 80 grams. Now, if you don't want to do as much as 80, of course, you can pull that down as much as you like. On with the lid and the measuring cup, and we're going to make this into icing sugar. 10 second speed, 10. I love this. This does not get old, the ability to be able to make this in a thermomix so quickly. Watch this. My bowl might have been a little damp. I did just wash it up, and that's probably not the best when it comes to making really powdery icing sugar. But in today's recipe, it doesn't really matter because oh, it wasn't too bad. Why I said that is actually the, the normal smoky stuff you get out the top. I couldn't see it, so that's why I thought, oh, it must have been a bit damp still. But actually, look at that, amazing icing sugar. Ten seconds, such a cost saver. All right, one less thing in your trolley, so your cupboard, your pantry as well, is all is got less stuff in it. Like it's minimalized, which is pretty cool. All right, next, insert our butterfly. So by now, hopefully you're getting the message. We find the high blades and we go on the blunt side, or you might think back, or you might think anti-clockwise of the, the high blade. So find that knuckle. So the knuckle today has landed over here. It's a bit like a jackpot. You can see it there. That's my high set. I'm going behind into there. It's quite easy when you've got no food in there, but it's a different story when you've got it all aerated and whipped up. You'll see that soon. So on with the butterfly. Add one egg white, and now we're going to pasteurize it. So how cool is that? We're actually going to cook this off at a low temperature for a little while. So without the measuring cup in place, we're going to do two minutes at 65 degrees um, on speed four. So you'll be able to kind of see that whipping up in there in a moment. So I'll come back in two minutes and I'll show you the next step. See you soon. Okay, it's finishing off. There we go. Now the next step is going to ask us to scrape down the sides um, so that we actually capture any of that remaining egg white that's uncooked in there. You can see it looks like that glossy meringue that we saw the other day um, when we made the meringues. So you can see that that's scraped down there. If you've missed that, just check it out on my channel. Go back a little bit and you'll find them. Beautiful there. All right, so we'll scrape that down. Make sure it's all incorporated as much as we can. You guys know I don't generally scrape down. And let's be real, if I wasn't filming, I would skip that step. But without the measuring cup, it's got one more minute now to just cook off the last little bit at 65 degrees. Look at that bell in there. Is that not beautiful or what? So silky and smooth and so easy. Do you remember what it was like before you had a Thermomix? Having a mix master on the bench or whatever it might have been with the, the balloon whisk? So easy with the Thermomix. I'm going to cut that step short only because I don't want to take all day. I want to inspire you. Uh, so let's just go into the next step. We're going to add frozen fruit. Now it does need to be frozen fruit, but it's going to ask us first to take out the butterfly because as I made mention before, butterfly is for smooth things. So let's take out this butterfly. We will do it. Just put it aside. We do need it. Don't let the kids look at it yet. We need it later. Now we put in our seasonal fruit frozen. Now I'm just using a packet of fruit. Okay, nothing, nothing too special. Um, if you've got your own homemade frozen, amazing. Okay. And this goes, it says 600 to 650 grams. I'm actually going to take a little bit out, only because I need some for a recipe later today. So I'm going to steal some of those big strawberries out. Excuse the fingers. I just had a thought as I did that. Don't really want to go to the shops again today. Okay, so there we go. 500 will do. If you're a bit under, it doesn't matter. 
All right, now this is a step where they give you a video. How cool is it that you nearly get Netflix on the screen of your Thermomix? Uh, you're actually able to click that there and it'll play a video for you. Doesn't matter for me, I'm not gonna do that. I have lesser quantity in there, so I'm just gonna put the, the measuring cup in and I've, it's got this blending feature. Now, if you have a TM31 or a TM5, this is you spinning it up to speed eight and then once it's smooth, go to nine and then 10, okay? So that's how you do it on a different model. But for ours, we just spin the dial and I'll come back in one minute and show you the next step. Okay, guys, I had to stop mine early. It was starting to make uh, what I call a lawnmower sound where it's free spinning and there's nothing happening in there. So you can see in there, it's actually got an air pocket down the bottom in it and it's all pushed to the top. You can see how pretty that looks though, right? Isn't that awesome? So get the spatula in and give it a scrape down. See if you've got any lumps and bumps in there. I know that I've had some varying amounts of size of strawberries. So like, look at that. You can see there, there is one massive strawberry that's gonna be causing a little bit of havoc in there just because it's so big. So what I'm gonna do, look at that. Look how big that strawberry is. I'm just gonna take him aside for the moment. If you've got more consistent berries in there, uh, you probably wouldn't have such a trouble. So I think that's the only big bit. Let's get back onto mixing this. So I had 30 seconds to go. Let's give it another mix through for the rest of this time. Let's spin it up again and off we go. So that, that sound, that annoying sound, means just to stop. There's one more in there, can you hear it? There it goes again. Can you see how it's just free spinning now? That's where, I nearly pushed the mouse instead of the Thermomix. That's where having less berries can become a problem because they're actually sitting down now. But I'm just gonna skip over now and it won't matter. For my final product, this is pretty smooth. I'm happy with it, barring wherever that strawberry is, which I'm going to actually fish out. So you guys know I keep it real here on my YouTube. I don't edit videos to make it perfect because you know what, your kitchen's not perfect. All right, so what I would do, and I'll do this at home later. Thankfully, I am gonna use those strawberries later today. Is if I can find it, I'm gonna lift it out. Otherwise, somebody's getting a special chunk in theirs. Now, okay, I can't find it. Maybe it did actually get mushed up. So what we're doing now is we're moving on to the next step, which actually asks us to put our butterfly back in. Oh, scrape down the sides, remix it, okay? Because it's creamy. You've got to have it creamy by the time you put your butterfly in, all right? Otherwise, you risk the chance of the butterfly jumping off. So 10 more second blend time. We're gonna skip it. We've already blended it a couple of extra times. <laughs> One more time. Now we've got the butterfly in. Now, you know how I've said before, High blades. Can you see why we're talking about the high blades and not the low blades? We can't even see the high blades. So what do I do? We put it in and we do a wiggle and a jiggle sideways until we hit the high blades and we'll feel it. So I've just felt it there. I can feel, I've hit the high blades. By the way, my wiggle and jiggle, you can see I'm, I'm working in the top of the bowl. I've not pushed it all the way down. Once I find that high blades, I can either try and reveal it a bit further so I can see there. Oh, you guys can't see that. Where's the camera? Let me show you. See there, you can see there's a little bit of a blade exposed just there at my fingertip. There it is, see it? So that's what I was wiggling and jiggling to find. And then all I do is I put it on the back and I'm in, that's it, simple as that. Okay, so find it in there amongst the food. But as I said, always stay close for those first couple of seconds. On with the measuring cup into the mixing bowl and one minute speed four, stay close. Because I've got a chunk potentially of strawberry, one big strawberry like that in there somewhere, look at that chunk. If you had a bowl of strawberries that size, you would not have the challenge that I had. My challenge is I had big chunks of strawberries and little raspberries and blueberries in the frozen fruit. When you've got such a diverse amount in there, the Thermomix can take longer. And if I had a full 600 grams, it probably would have got through it, but I was working with less. So it kept bouncing up the sides and freezing and leaving an air bubble in the bottom. That's okay, we'll work with what we got. So now, let's grab our demo server because we're done in 20 seconds. How cool is this? Let's finish up. 15. Do you guys want to have a peek in the top? I love looking in the top of Fruity Dream. Let's have a look. So I'm going to take you guys out. Look at that. Oh, that beautiful mess in there. How cool is that? I love that rosette. The rosette is actually your symbol to tell you that it is done. And you'll see that on things like, um, that beautiful rosette will be on things like buttercream icing, mashed potato, not because you've got the butterfly in, okay? It's the blade shape. It's the actual pull of the blades in there. But, oh my gosh, can you see that? How good does that look? Oh, let me see if I can show you from afar. 
I'm still learning to drive my camera. Look at that. How cool is that? And that's the beauty of Fruit and Dream soft serve ice cream. So incredibly simple. Three ingredients. Cooked off egg in this case, which I find makes it fluffier and lighter. You can use any frozen uh, variety of fruit. Steer away from the massively chunked ones like your big, you know, strawberries. Um, use what you've got though, okay? So whatever that might be. But otherwise, give this a go. I hope you feel confident with your butterfly. I'm not taking this out yet. I want to get a photo of it to show you guys at the end the beautifulness of your Fruity Dream ice cream in your Thermomix. Now, there is the variety where you don't cook off an egg white. There is a variety where you can put in a butterfly, a butterfly, banana, a banana instead of the egg white. Uh, there's one we can use cream or yogurt to actually make it a fruit ice cream instead. So check those out on Cookie Do. You'll find those different recipes there. But otherwise, hope you're feeling inspired and confident with your Thermomix. Reach out if I can support you with anything regarding it. I love hearing from you. I love hearing what you're making. I love hearing if you've got challenges and opportunities as well where you're kind of going, I don't know what to do, Lise. What do I do with this? So do reach out. But otherwise, take care and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for joining me today. See you then. Bye.